What's up, guys? Um, I, I just found out that George P. Wilbur freaking died today, and whew, I didn't expect it, but it, it kind of hit me. It kind of hit me, you know? And um, th there's a reason, and I'm going to explain that, but uh, I'm not good with these type videos at all. Um, but, yeah, I, th I, I thought he died the same day as Donald Pleasance, but I found out that Donald Pleasance, I think, died yes yesterday was the date of his death. Well, um, not that that matters, but it is kind of weird that uh, the, both the dates are so close together. But George P. was such an inspiration for me. Um, he is the reason, he, you know, this right here, um, his performance in this, and it is a performance, he's not just a, a stuntman. Because, you know, a lot of times, um, slasher killers it, you know a lot of times it's just like a glorified stuntman but uh every now and then one of those stuntmen shines through and we get magic and um and then you know they're so strong that they might be asked to come back which is what happened with george p funny enough he didn't do five but he did do six and strangely enough both those movies have left an indelible impact on so many horror fans' lives, you know? And, and George P., yeah, this isn't news that's going to be on, you know, major news stations and whatnot, but he touched a lot of us horror fans uh, in a big way. And I would even say that he's probably uh, the reason why a lot of us became um, Halloween fanatics of this franchise, uh, it, you know, including me, and, and I can share my story. Um, 15 years old, uh, opening night of Halloween 4, and I was excited because this was the first time Myers was going to be back since Halloween 2, which was 81, so seven years later. And back then, this was a big deal. People were really excited for this, you know, the return of Myers. And if that movie that he came back in wasn't, you know, great, if it didn't leave a mark, then Halloween might not be where it is today, you know? You had to come back strong, and I think uh, Mustafa Akkad was smart to go back to the basics, as he said, uh, and, you know, create such a, um, a scary and uh, impactful horror movie with great characters. And so, um, I remember watching this opening night and, um, you know, r right here when you see him taking him on the gurney, right before that you saw his hand, like, fall out of the gurney. And um, just that one scene, the mystery of Myers was unleashed on us, just in that hand falling from a gurney. But um, later in the movie, when Myers is under the bed and Jamie Lloyd is having her nightmare, um, Right away, I mean, it was scary stuff for me. And, and I was 15 years old at the time. I could, I could hold my own, but there was just something about Myers in this movie. And, and people make fun of that mask back there. By the way, thanks Dave Vanderhoff. He sent me that mask, but that's a Halloween 4 mask. And I've often said that mask wasn't a problem for me back then. Uh, and a lot of times we see these still shots of the mask these days with the internet and everything. And we always, we seem to capture some of the more embarrassing shots. But George P. Wilbur, um, I think he captured uh, a performance that no matter what mask he had on, it was going to work. Uh, he was scary as hell. And, you know, going to the last scene in the movie, well, even before that, going to the rooftop and... Um, him coming after Jamie and um, Rachel. And, you know, again, just really menacing. Like, he was truly a force coming after them, and he would not stop, you know? And there goes my phone. But, you know, his performance was so powerful. Myers as a character, uh, you know, before this, I wasn't like the Myers fanatic that I am today. It was George that got me here and held on to me. And he's the only... Um, slasher icon and that version of you know the george p version is the only one that has ever like stayed with me uh you know beneath the surface 
and gave me literal nightmares for years. I, I would like I would even have dreams about what the sequel to Halloween 4 could be like before 5 even came out. It was that uh, profound on me. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to go through each movie, but I'll just say part 6, uh, arguably one of the scariest versions of Myers out there. I saw that one in the theater opening night too. Not very many people in the theater, but that movie has always held a very special place in my heart just because of the mood, the cinematography of it. But more importantly, George P, you know, I think George P was a crucial element to those two movies. And this is a guy that had a career spanning 50 years, you know, uh, in Hollywood as a stuntman. He, he did far more outside of Halloween, but uh, he's just one of those, um, I'm having a tough time. It's like, I really want to freaking, it, it, I don't like the, I don't like these types of videos, but I wanted to do it for George because he was so important to me. And, um, I, I, it, it, I, I have to thank him. That's why I'm making this video. Cause I just wanted to thank you, George P for, um, what you did for me and, and bringing me on board to this franchise. And if not for your performance, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened. You know, hell, you're probably the reason why drum dums exist. You know, I might not have even, you know, because Halloween was a big reason why I wanted to start talking about movies, you know, and, and it gave me the courage to one day um, pick up the camera and uh, put a mic. I used to literally hold a microphone because I didn't know what I was doing. And I literally had a microphone sitting on a book sitting next to me and I'd be talking and you'd only hear on that side. Uh, and I had no idea what I was doing, but I think the reason I did it was because I wanted to profess my love for something and that something was Halloween. And it was this movie, actually. This was one of my first reviews, Halloween 6, George P. Wilbur. So, um, enough of my rambling, but George, you touched so many lives. You are missed and, uh, it sucks that you're gone, but you live on forever. Good sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the memories and thank you for the nightmares. We love you, George P. Wilbur.